China would stop at nothing to destroy American dominance on the seas, and it's already there. With 340 warships, no other nation on the planet has a larger naval fleet than the Asian world power, not even the US with its $100 billion aircraft carrier fleet. In fact, this fleet, the most expensive in the world, has also come under serious threat as China continues to grow its carrier fleet at a breathtaking pace. This is what scary news looks like for the United States. Up until June 17, 2022, China was tied with the United Kingdom in terms of number of launched aircraft carriers. On the day, China launched the Type 003 Fujian, the world's largest conventionally powered aircraft carrier and the third of the Chinese fleet. Before the Fujian was the Type 001 Liaoning, a 61,000-ton vessel bought from Ukraine after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The second was the 70,000-ton Type 002 Shandong, which is the first domestically built aircraft carrier in China, but was built on the design of the Liaoning. The Type 003 Fujian is completely different. It features a design unlike its predecessors, and in fact, looks more like the American aircraft carriers. Since its launch, the Fujian has been performing the rituals that would prepare it for commission into service. Recent video footage released by China shows the aircraft carrier completing a mooring test, which involves testing the vessel's main propulsion machinery while it is moored. The ship was also recently spotted testing its state-of-the-art electromagnetic catapults for launching jet fighters. Currently, the ship is in the final stages of being fitted out before sea trials commence. Sea trials are the last hurdles to overcome before the ship is finally handed over to the Chinese Navy likely next year. The timing of the ship's entry into service could be scary for the world. The major conflicts in the world today, the war in Ukraine and the war between Israel and Gaza, are seeing a lot of sea-related activity. China has been touted as one nation that would have to pick sides in these wars, expectedly the opposite of whichever side the US is on. American aircraft carriers are already involved in the Israel-Hamas war. Two aircraft carriers and their respective armada of bodyguard ships were swiftly deployed into the Middle Eastern region after Hamas's surprise attack on Israel. According to the US, their deployment was to deter Hamas-backed parties from joining the war, unless they were hoping to be wiped out. USS Gerald Ford, the largest aircraft carrier in the world, was one of the deployed American carriers. However, the carrier was recently called back to its home port of Norfolk, Virginia. Its job in the Middle East must have been done. Its mere presence was all the US needed to keep involved and uninvolved parties on their best behavior. When the Chinese Type 003 Fujian carrier enters service, the USS Gerald Ford is the top rival it would be up against, especially since the Israel-Hamas war doesn't appear to be ending anytime soon. And the USS Gerald Ford could be deployed any time the US Navy deems necessary. And in today's world, when isn't it necessary? So, with the stage set and the contenders being fitted out for today's battlefield, the questions remain. Which aircraft carrier would dominate the seas and by how much? Would it be China's Type 003 Fujian or America's USS Gerald Ford? It's the battle of the bests, the battle of the beasts, the battle that could decide which is the more powerful nation between China and the US. In the left corner is the Chinese Type 003 Fujian, and on the right is the American USS Ford. Considering five major categories, it's time to see what capabilities these two massive machines bring into the ring. Number 5. Propulsion the Fujian is powered by a conventional propulsion system which sees an aircraft carrier consume heavy amounts of fuel to power virtually every system on board. The exact engines on the Fujian are unknown since the carrier is quite new, and like any new flagship military equipment, not much information has been released about it just yet. 
But irrespective of the power provided by the propulsion system on the Fujian, it very likely wouldn't compare favorably to that on the American carrier, which is a nuclear propulsion system. Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, the most cutting-edge engines created for use on aircraft carriers, power the USS Gerald Ford. Thanks to that, the carrier can run efficiently for up to 25 years at a go without refueling, as the nuclear propulsion system is capable of supporting all operations on the ship for that long. And with a top speed of 30 knots, the USS Ford is, in theory and without being limited by the limitations of its human crew, capable of accessing every country on the planet to pay friendly visits to allies and wreak havoc on foes. Number 4. AI and Automation The Fujian is up against the American aircraft carrier with the most AI and automation set up in history. While China hasn't revealed much information on the systems powering the Fujian carrier, the chances of surpassing the systems on the American carrier, which builds on the successes of its preceding Nimitz-class carriers, another class of American carriers that boast impressive AI and automation, are slim. The USS Ford is as intelligent as the world has ever seen. The carrier is packed with artificial intelligence components in various forms, from automated systems to unmanned vehicles, which have been making quite a name for themselves. These components make the massive ship significantly easier to operate than it would be without them. In fact, the USS Ford has a complement of 4,500 members, whereas that of a similarly sized Nimitz-class carrier is over 6,000. Thanks to a smaller-than-expected complement size, the USS Ford has more free internal space to hold more systems, weapons, and life enhancement features, such as ergonomic spaces and gymnasiums, which ultimately results in a better quality of life for the crew members. An important factor, seeing as a carrier can only be as agile as the crew that keeps her oiled up and ready for action. Number 3. Sensors and Processing Systems both aircraft carriers are fitted with the most advanced sensors and processing systems that their respective nations could provide. For the Fujian, it begins with an integrated power system that is a massive upgrade over the systems used in preceding Chinese aircraft carriers. The system allows for more efficient power distribution, which enhances the performance of the ship's sensors and processing systems. These systems to be juiced up include a state-of-the-art active electronically scanned array radar system, or ASA radar system, which provides the Fujian with superior detection and tracking capabilities, enabling it to identify and track multiple targets simultaneously. Supporting this system are four S-band Dragon Eye Type 346 radars and four smaller X-band ASA radar panels. The USS Ford, on the other hand, takes a very unique approach with its sensors and processing systems. Unlike virtually every other aircraft carrier in the world, the Ford features a single system for both horizon and volume search in the form of the ANSPY-3 multifunction radar for X and S-band active electronically scanned array. It remains the most advanced radar system from the U.S. and fed by the most sensitive sensors. The radar system packs enough data to single-handedly handle surveillance, air traffic control, missile communications, and spot targets from miles away. Number 2. Air Wing The air wing of the Type 003 Fujian is expected to be as formidable as China can conjure. The main aircraft of the air wing is anticipated to be the navalized version of the Shenyang FC-31, known as the J-35. The J-35 is a fifth-generation fighter designed to rival America's fifth-generation F-35 Lightning II. Another aircraft that could find itself on the Fujian is the Shan KJ-600, which will serve a similar surveillance role as the E-2D Hawkeye of the U.S. Navy. In addition to these fighters, the Fujian would likely host more fighters, rotary aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. The exact count of these aircraft remains unknown for now. However, the Fujian is an 80,000-ton carrier, while the USS Ford weighs 100,000 tons, meaning the American is a whopping 20% larger. With that in mind, the USS Ford would likely host significantly more aircraft than the Fujian. The American carrier can host up to 75 aircraft at a time. 
The lineup would include the U.S. Navy's favorite aircraft, the F-35 Lightning II, commonly referred to as the most intelligent fighter in history thanks to a slew of highly sensitive sensors and battle-dictating systems. China's J-35 is widely seen as an attempt at a replica of the F-35, an attempt that doesn't surpass the original. In addition to the F-35, the E-2D Hawkeye, the F-A-18 Hornet, and a variety of other aircraft can call the USS Ford home today. Number 1. Launch and Arrest Systems The Fujian puts China in a list of only three nations to wield electromagnetic launch systems, next to France and the US. An electromagnetic launch system is a massive advancement over steam-powered launch systems and the ski ramps found on the previous Chinese carriers. With an electromagnetic launch system, an aircraft carrier is able to catapult the widest range of manned and unmanned aircraft in a short distance without causing damage to them. The Fujian has three of such systems while the USS Ford has four. An arrest system captures incoming aircraft and brings them to a screeching halt in a short distance to save them from having to swim with the sharks. Both the Fujian and Ford wield arresting gears. All of the older American carriers in service today also feature electromagnetic launch systems and arrest systems, and so they have gifted the U.S. Navy enough experience to build the most advanced systems possible. How much more advanced the systems would be over the Chinese counterparts, if at all, remains to be seen. But take a guess. The Fujian is a lot of firsts for China, which is good for the country, but also means the country is new to building this sophisticated an aircraft carrier. The US is not, and this is why the USS Ford has managed to edge out the Fujian in terms of capabilities. Both nations continue to build new aircraft carriers, though, and so only the future can tell if the U.S. will maintain its dominance or if China will finally figure out a way to put the U.S. in second place. Whatever the case, one thing that is certain is that both China and the U.S. want you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching!